wet heavy snow weighted down this wire fencing that I had connected to this little area here which the anchored by the split rails <laughs> it's kind of different well metal bend so I can bend it, bend it back this spring we have this nutty burr oak here that I planted and uh, a lot of times these tubes they stay dry and I think they get colder in there in the winter we got this nice fluffy snow right now and I filled the tube up with fluffy snow just so I just left the tip of the seedling out of the snow. Actually this is a did I plant that this spring or last? I think I planted that last year. So this will be two years old since when I got it, however old it was when I got it from this Echoes company. And then I piled up some snow up around the tube too. I got this burr oak here that I planted from an acorn in the year 2000. That's what that is right there. Let's see if we can get a better shot of it in the skyline. There. That's 20 years old now. And I guess that's 15, 18 feet tall. The stem coming out of the ground is probably three, maybe four inches in diameter. There's a couple of balsam firs growing with it now, and there's a cedar tree that came up. But I'm not concerned because oaks have uh, tap roots. I don't think that anything's going to girdle it. There's, I actually planted five seeds there, and there's another one growing for sure here. Is there are two. Oh, that comes out of the same one. So this is another one that I planted right here. Oh, there's three of them. There's another one right here. Right here. There's three of them growing out of five seeds. Oh, I didn't realize there's two more. There might be another one over here. Sure. Those are the ones that you're raising. One big happy family right there. Now that one, that bigger one, wants to grow, but it might have a relationship with these other ones, so I'm not going to trim them down at all. Looks pretty nice. So this nutty baroque is going to be a companion plant to it somewhere down the line. I'll probably plant a third one on the other side here, a little ways in. This will be my my uh, baroque, which is actually part of the white oak family. My white oak knob. That's just going to end up being. Let me turn this iris down a little bit. So here you can see there's a swale right here. put in this swale and I actually planted a tree Fifth, this, this swale is, was dug in 2013 August of 2013 and that was just a little bitty seedling and when I put the swale in boy that thing really started shooting up so the problem with this tight clay is water doesn't like soaking in doesn't want to soak in so this swale is catching it Anytime it rains, it catches it and you now it has to soak in. Because it takes time, the swale is allowing that time to happen.